why is this Jesus trilogy so important? Some people criticize Ratzinger for uh, publishing three books as a private theologian while Pope, which is quite uh, unique, of course, to say the least. Um, but uh, Ratzinger really, he never really wanted to be even a bishop. I mean, that's that's really his, his whole uh, life has been an he's been an academic uh, true theologian, which is a man of prayer who meditates on the word of God, meditates on the scripture and the wisdom contained therein and meditates and discusses it. And that's what he always wanted to do and wanted to be. He was forced into the position of a bishop. Uh, I believe it was 1977, the year before Paul VI died. And then he was forced into the position of a cardinal the same year by Paul VI. And then John Paul II kept on berating it, like <laughs> forcing him, trying to try to force him to come to Rome. At first he refused, but eventually he conceded. Then he brought, they brought him as he was the head of the Holy Office for a few decades. And then he was forced to become a, 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 a Pope. So he never sought any of these ecclesiastical popes. He always just wanted to do this. That was kind of like his heart and soul, as far as I, I can tell. And then finally, when he was, uh, you know, it's, it's to me, it's not even surprising that he resigned because it's like he never wanted to do any of this. All he wanted to do was be a priest theologian. And then he's like, well, I, I guess I'm the boss now, so right. <laughs> I can just yeah. resign. <laughs> yeah, who's going to stop so, me? 